My first Wakelet video showed you the basics of how to use Wakelet. This one sort of shows you some ways that I have used it in my library. And especially now for the COVID-19. So I made this Wakelet here with websites and ideas for distance learning. I made it for my teachers first. It's tools that I've curated from online learning, but I opened it up to everybody. So and it's been used a lot by a lot of different people. It has over 2,000 item, you know, views on it, and it tells you how many items, 231 items. So I've curated them. And as you see here, the text is up here that I've curated, and then I have the links to different ideas. So, you know, I can put a Google Doc link in here. I have links to Wi-Fi things. And then you see I've organized it by different areas. So I put, you know, tips and tricks, and it goes down and, you know, tutorial videos and then resources. Every time I find something, I will add it. Now, what's nice about Wakelet is if you find something, you can use their Chrome extension, and I can add it to a Wakelet. So let's say here, I wanted to add it to the Wakelet. I could just click in here and I could hit the Wakelet button and it would allow me to add it to my Wakelet. So I have made this COVID-19 Wakelet, but I have lots of other Wakelets too. I have ones that, about websites that tell you back from fiction that I've used with my students and you know that I've linked to. I have one on how to use Google Meet. So I was teaching my teachers how to use Google Meet. So I made this for them. And I put the videos that I made and, you know, put it in there for them so that everything was in one place, curated with in one place for them. I have information for, you know, they were doing a genocide research project. So I put all the everything that I had curated into one spot for them. So I had you know, this is the collection of books and articles that I have from Follett in the Destiny collections that I just put in one place so that they could go to one place to get everything. And it wasn't all over the place for them. They know how to just use the Wakelet. So, you know, I, I've used it for fake news resources and information equity resources and tools from ISTE you know, what's nice also about it is you can use it by having it shared. You can have other people, you can share your collection and you can, you know, have people use it that way. You can put it in Facebook and all these other places, but you can also have contributors. So if you get a shareable link, you can have others contribute to that. And in, in the managed contributors, you can see these are all people that have decided to, you know, possibly contribute. And you can contribute through a link or a code, or you can email people and let them contribute to a different one. This is one that we made for an ISTE presentation we were giving, and we allowed people to add their thoughts and stuff that they had done to it. So Wakelet can also be used in that way too, where you know all people can contribute to one area, which makes it very nice. Now, something I didn't show you in the last bit, one that I thought I should show you now is that you can view it in different ways. So if you go to edit your collection, you can view it. This is media view where it just scrolls down. You also have contact view, which makes it you know like smaller. You can do grid view. That is how that other wakelet you saw was designed, where it's a grid pattern. And then you have a mood board, which puts everything sort of together in one area. So there's nice, what's, that makes it nice too, is that you can choose which way you want it to be. I really like wakelet. It has been really helpful to have everything in one place, especially during this time. And you will see a lot of people are using Wakelet to curate information for staff and students and others. So think about that as when you're trying to look for ways to get stuff to your staff and students.